Tonight's broadcast is brought to you by the company you depend upon for all of your greatest needs, Heart Life. These stories are true dramatizations from our fair city's glorious history. So listen and remember, Heart Life, all the life you'll ever need. When we left our fair city, things were looking pretty dire in Dr. West's home. The scrupulous Dr. Caligari has ordered the Blue Ribbon Science Fair to collect the creature he created using her lost containment tube. Now they've poisoned Mrs. Rourke to get her out of the way. Little do they know Mrs. Rourke is the very creature they were sent to collect. Now that she's out of the way, we shouldn't have any trouble. Let's go. Certainly, Dean. I suspect the lab space is through that door. Remember, Podwell, the specimen in question should be poorly coordinated and smell a bit rotten. It probably does not retain full verbal skills. Come on! Caligari told us all that back at her lab. Don't talk to me like a participant. Would you care to do the honors then, Podwell? With pleasure. Just let me make sure the charges go on straight. Mm-hmm. There, we are go for blasting. Goggles! Blast away. <coughs> well done. The good Dr. West has done well for himself. A lot of this stuff looks like Dr. Caligari's equipment. Of course it does. Scientists of their caliber would use similar material. That's not what I meant. Ah, there's your monster blithering in the corner. How hard did you... What the... Where... He does fit the language criteria. Test his coordination. Sure. Don't throw... My mouth! Check. So, this is West's monster. Bit of a waste. Hey, I'm not... Wait, monster? Where's Mrs. War? She's been taken care of. No one can help you now, monster. We're going to visit your real master, Dr. Caligari. I'm not a monster. And he's not my master. I call him Herbert. We've been over that. We do not care what you call him or he calls you. Monster. Podwell, shut him up, please. Of course. Will poison work on him? No, don't! Did he remove your backbone when he raised you? I doubt that poison would have any effect. His metabolism is probably either stopped or slowed so much he'd never notice. Other options. Occam's razor, friends. You want me to cut him up? Caligari won't like that. Uh, no. No. I want you to think of the simplest possible answer. Tie him up. <laughs> and for Heisenberg's sake, <laughs> gag him. Pull down there. Hey! Ah, he's stronger than he looks. So am I. Things are looking pretty dire for our poor little Andrew Snidge, Dr. West's endearingly inept assistant. How will he get out of this, and what will happen to him when Dr. Caligari finds out he's not the corpse she ordered? Find out next time as our fair city continues with the conclusion of Death at a Science Fair.